Hi there and welcome back at ID's Game Chest with another episode of our Brio World series. Today's episode will be purely focused on building, so we will try to build a very very long track without any track switches. If you're not too much into track building, you might want to skip today's episode and maybe even the next one, as in the next one we will decorate the track. But if, like me, you're into building long and interesting tracks, you might enjoy today's episode. Okay, I've already started here. Um, the way I'm building random tracks is... I start with small uh, sections of the track I'm planning. So I start with small circles. The next to each other. So like I already finished the circle on the left. Now I'm building a second circle here. A second circuit. And then once I finish the second one, I will cut open the first one and then arrange the connections. Now I'm cutting open the first circuit and will try to connect the second one. At first I was thinking about doing it with a junction or a crossing but then I thought, no, I just want one very long track without any crossing, without any switches. So, like you s can see here, first I put it, but then I was not too happy with it, so I removed it again. It happens quite often to me during the building process that I will start building something and immediately remove it again because it didn't really work out the way I planned it to. But I guess the same thing will happen to you. Okay, so here I decided to build a ramp and a small bridge section so I could go over the other part of the track. So you can see two separate to once separated circles are now interconnected. So let's start with the next section. Sometimes I'm struggling a bit with the game since it doesn't let me turn the tracks the way I want to but usually one way or another I'll manage to work it out. Here you can see me struggling with the rotation, as I mentioned before. It 
As you can see with this track, I didn't really have any concept or any plan on how to build it. I just started and just kept going and well, I let myself carry by what I saw on the screen and just kept adding track pieces. The only goal I had in mind was that I wanted it to be one continuous track. surprise this worked out on the first try uh, crossing over the other track with the bridges and the short bridge section So here, instead of building another closed circuit and interconnecting it later, I just cut it open and kept going with the track pieces. Sometimes it feels a bit like weaving or knitting. Let's go back again where we started.
before sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to find the correct way to pass under those elevated pieces starts. This will be a bit more curvy. I hope the passengers won't get sick. Sometimes when I'm doing the connection between those two I have to remove a lot of the track pieces I said before because they are not aligned properly or I forgot that I have to pass over or under something. another big section where we can put at least one or two circles so let's start there Mm-hmm. 
As I mentioned in the beginning, in this episode we will just take care of the basic building process of the track and in the next episode we will form the landscape a bit, put some rivers and ponds, put some decorations, put the train stations. But today we will purely concentrate on building the track itself. I think we'll go back over the other track pieces here in this case. over it. Looking good so far. Yeah, let's add another small section here. And then I think the track should be long enough.
let's connect it to faults and then I think that should be it. Hmm, they are close together. I think we need to go back and let's try something. That's looking good now. Yep, I think this track is finished. So this is it for today's episode which was purely focused on track building. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel and I hope to have you here again with the next episode when we start shaping the landscape and decorating the track.